Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, today I will show you how to do the vector dot and cross product by using 991 MS calculator. Although it's sometimes really easy to do the vector addition, uh, vector multiplication, uh, especially the dot multiplication, um, but sometimes the cross multiplication is little harder and you have you have you can you have a chance to do the mistake so um, if you want to check your answer with your calculator that would be really good to do and sometimes if you do not need to do to show the steps how you did it um, you can use your calculator so very useful so that's uh, that's why i think it is really good to at least to know the process how to do it whether you use it in your exam or not so I'm using the calculator 991 MS uh, uh, Casio, but I think the technique and rules are almost similar for many of the calculator. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, okay, before starting it, uh, I want to tell you that it's a little bit lengthy. The process is not very, very easy to do it in calculator as well, but uh, if you just keep practice a few times, I think you will, you, will, you will enjoy it. It's not, not very hard to do if you do it and our practice. Okay, so let's go ahead and start. So I have a two vector here, vector A, 3i minus 5j plus 2k, and vector B is 2i plus j minus 6k. So I have to, I have to, uh, uh, I am, I'm, I'm I have to do the um, I'm gonna do the multiplications addition and subtraction is also very easy to do that but I'm not gonna show it here you just if you can do the multiplication here you you can just do the addition and subtraction similarly okay so let's go uh, first of all you have to set your calculator for the vector mode so if you press one time two time the mode button in your calculator three times then you will see the three mode equation matrix and number three is our vector mode so you have to press three your calculator is set for vector mode if you want your calculator go back to your normal mode again you can just press uh, one times and i think if you press one uh, cump comprehend mode i will it will take you to this uh, to your calculator to the normal mode okay so we are going to vector mode again because we will do the vector operation so number three, now your calculator is set for a vector mode, okay? So now we'll write this vector. So to write this vector, you have to press shift. And then here is number five button. You see the yellow V is VCT. This is the uh, uh, place to write your vector. So first of all, you have to write your vector. Uh, you have to press one to put the dimension of the vector. Before putting dimension, the name of your vector is A. Now the dimension means how many elements in your vector. I have I, Z, K, three elements. So my dimension is three equal to, now I have to put the value of the coefficient, not the I, Z, K. So I'll just put the three uh, minus five, two. Okay, so my vector A is done. Similarly, I'll put vector B. Uh, 5 number 1 vector B dimension is 3 and first element is 2 and then 1 and then negative 6 all right my vector A and B is ready now I will do the dot and cross product so once I wrote this vector I can just do dot and cross product uh, easily I do not have to write it again and again so to do that Let's go ahead and do this operation. So press the big, uh, shift button again. Press five. Okay. So again here, I have one, two, three. One is putting the dimension and value to edit. I'm not gonna do edit anything. Number three is our vector. So we we have a vector. Now dot dot is little hard to put. So dot we have to put the dot. Press the shift button again and vector you see here in the corner you have an arrow here is your dot so the press the dot you have to press actual one dot so a vector a dot similarly vector p here you go 
I have done I have wrote vector a dot vector b so just I will press equal button and here's my answer so I think if I don't do the mistake uh, I, uh, it should be negative protein if I don't do any mistake otherwise whatever if I didn't put any value mistake then this should be the answer for cross product you can just edit this dot to a cross otherwise everything will be similar so I'm not going to do this everything again I will just edit this dot to cross cross means this is my cross okay I'll just change this and it will be my cross product as you know the vector cross product is another vector so it's giving me three value and to get this three value the coefficient of i j and k so my cross product a cross b is basically uh, my 28 i then 20 z and 8k okay so that's how you have to do you to do the vector dot and cross product in a calculator okay thank you so much thank you for watching and if you if you like this video please give me a thumbs up if you have